interesting. All these uh, areas in Brooklyn that are becoming gentrified, that's the term that's used now. The term I use is uh, cleaned up, improved. Gentrified? Who wants to be a member of the fucking gentry? That's just fucking rude. Anyhow, that's exactly what I talk about now. Yesterday, I had, once again, I had a really interesting day. I had an interesting experience. So, I've been working on some, well, I'm always constantly working on stuff. If you're not on the personal development path, you're going backwards because others are on it. So, I'll do this way you can see the brownstones. Yesterday, after uh, burying myself in Dov Barron's excellent book, once again, don't read this, your ego won't like it, I'm going right down that quantum resonance, the field of quantum resonance rabbit hole. And before you go, what the fuck is he smoking? I'll explain. Let's simplify this and I can, I can explain what happened exactly yesterday. When you sit in a Ferrari and hold the wheel, do you feel different than sitting in a $200 piece of crap and holding the wheel? Do you feel different? Do you sit different? Does, does the, is the, is the, well use the term, is the energy different? Does it just feel different? When you get out of that vehicle, do you walk and talk and stand different? You do, and if you think you don't, go sit in a fucking Ferrari today. So yesterday, I, uh, well, it doesn't matter how I got there, but I was at a New York fashion shoot, show, not shoot, show, and um, I was just, I put something on Facebook about what's the best SUV to buy right now come on hey hello hello oh, it's so crazy is good hello I'm the dog whisperer I... <laughs> maybe not <laughs> we're off come on <laughs> have a good one so move too fast so I'm at this show <laughs> I'm at this show these are live there's no there's no prep there's no random people just say walk your dog down there and make it bark at me um, so I'm at this show put this post on what's the best SUV to buy right now I had no intention whatsoever to buy an SUV for those of you on the post my point was, I wanted to find what people's. Oh, and you ride tandem. I wanted to find what people's, <laughs> what people's uh, thoughts were about the term best. And some people uh, got that, but the overwhelming number one choice was a Range Rover. So I'm at the show, New York City. Is, you know. It's not a car place, it's a, it's a cab place. I'm at this show, and just by chance, I saw all these answers, and I thought, you know, I've never seen a Range Rover place in New York City, you know, it's not really, all the car places are in one, in one avenue. So I just type in Range Rover New York City, it turns out it's less than five minutes walk away from where I'm at. So I think, sod it, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna go and explore it and take some pictures and just see what's what. Walking across to the Range Rover place, I see a Ferrari in a window. I walk in, Maserati of Manhattan, Ferraris, got Rolls, uh, Bentleys, blah, 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 and Maseratis. From there, I go to the Range Rover place. So what's the difference? Back to what we're talking about, quantum resonance. The people that work with these cars, not just sitting in them, the people that work with them on a daily basis are completely different. Ferrari place, as soon as I walked in, 
It's, it's really nice guy, really good vibe about him. The guy's name's Stephen. So if you're buying Ferraris or anything in uh, New York City, go see Stephen. Stephen comes, we're chatting, we're shooting the shit, we're having a laugh, da 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 da. Now look at the car that I've seen in the window. I sit in the car, play around, do a few things, da da da, da end up in a workshop. Look at another one, a convertible, California. Look at another one, sit down at his desk, shoot the shit, shit about him, his life, me, da 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 da, da the whole thing. And left as friends. Got a really good vibe from him. Walk round the corner, Range Rover, looking at the one Range Rover they had in there, or the, the one top of the Range one, looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. No one approached me, no one just came out. After maybe 10 minutes, some guy with an ill fitting suit looked like he had, didn't look after himself. You know, the term beer belly leaps to mind. Came. His second question was, What's your budget? You know, in the Ferrari place, Stephen never asked me anything at all about money. Now, here's the scenario. I walk in, I've got an old pair of hiking boots on, a pair of jeans that are torn at the bottom, I've got a shirt and a kind of work-like jacket on that could, looks like, it could look like it could cost $50 or $5,000. No one knew. The Range Rover guy kind of looked me up and down. Now, in New York, that's not an unusual look. It's not a suit and tie place. It's not unusual to have billionaires in flip flops. So, to prejudge someone on appearance is one thing. But that's all he was interested in, talking about money. And his, his air of indifference, as though I was wasting his time, was what stood out. That was the vibe I got, is he couldn't be bothered, and nor could anyone else. Stephen, on the other hand, I could have sat there for another hour and just chatted with him and had a coffee and about anything, life in general. So what's the difference? The energy, the energy emitted from Ferraris and the people that sit in them is at a much, much higher frequency than the everyday people that look at Range Rovers all the time. Because they're looking at the budget. For the most part, I would say. There is no entry-level Ferraris, really. So, this is what I got. That car emits energy. All cars do, all vehicles do, everything does. When you are constantly surrounded by something that vibrates at such a high level, it translates into you. And that translates out into, call it the universe, call it what you want, doesn't have to have a label, but it translates. And that's the frequency that you are emitting. So Stephen was emitting a real high level frequency. I don't even remember the other guy's name. That's the difference. When someone is emitting a certain level, there's a connection. Now that connection won't be with everyone, that connection will be with other people who are on or in the same radio broadcast frequency. So what am I getting at here? Back to your circle of five, raise your game. The Range Rover guy didn't even ask for my contact details, he just gave me his card. Stephen asked for them, wrote them down, gave me his card, sent me an email straight away thanking me. And that was it. The Range Rover guy said, well, if you want to book an appointment, you can book an appointment. We have a contract. Stephen said, you know, if you want to see anything, we've got 250 vehicles all over the country. We'll throw one on a flatbed and bring it up for you to take a look at. That's the difference. So this is the same day. I was dressed the same way. Everything was the same, apart from the energy emitted from those vehicles. The end result, I had no intention whatsoever, whatsoever, of getting a vehicle. I was just getting the energy. Right now, 
I can't get my head out of a 458 Targa. I can't get it out my head. I know what it feels like, smells like, sounds like. Everything. Damn. That was an expensive day out yesterday. I haven't even spent any cash, but I know I'm going to end up doing so. So, there you go. That's my little thing for today. And if you don't believe me, just show up at a Ferrari dealership with an old pair of jeans on. Not a fucking suit and tie, please. They'll laugh you out of place. Okay, guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. I've not got uh, ADD, but... Oh, squirrel! Squirrel! Have a wonderful one from Brooklyn.